February 2016, I got a phone call that my daughter died of a drug overdose. She had struggled for about two years with heroin. I had placed her in rehab on numerous occasions, but she just couldn't grasp uh, recovery. And uh, after I, I lost my daughter, I did some soul searching. I really believe that there was a power greater than me. Uh, and, and, and his message came through other people. So my wife and I, in August of 2016, we opened up a recovery house for women. Three years later, we had 17 recovery houses for men and women. It's been rewarding for us. I mean, there's also a lot of uh, uh, disappointment and heartbreak, uh, but we've also we've been able to help a lot of people on the way to the road recovery and a better life. Addiction, I don't care what neighborhood you live in, what kind of job you have, what income you have, addiction is right in your neighborhood. It's right there in front of you whether you see it or not, whether you live in a million dollar home or a row house in North Philadelphia, it's there. And it, it's not and it's not that far from your house. The important thing for us is to make people aware that it doesn't matter why, all that matters is that, is that it's there. Our children are dying at a record pace and we have to do something about it. Back in the 60s when 12 or 13 year olds, it was unheard of for them to get high, I was getting high. I started going to prison at 16 years old. I've been shot, stabbed. I was a bank robber, a drug dealer, a burglar. Um, I was able to turn my life away. I was able to find that there's a better way. I was able to find, realize that I don't ever, ever have to feel that way that I felt the last day I used.